Hi. Um, we are in the Argyle National Park up in Scotland uh, for a few days and um, I've come up with the family. Um, well, I've come up with my wife and Clarkson, that I classed that as my family. Um, we're, uh, we've come up to, uh, we've come on a little walk up through the Argyle Forest up to uh, Doneach Waterfalls. Now, the, the waterfalls are absolutely stunning, but unfortunately, because of all the conifer trees and everything, you literally cannot get anywhere near them to photograph them, which is so unfortunate. But I have found a little, a little part of the stream where there's a bridge that, um, that, that comes over all right, the water and, and I found a really nice composition. So I'm going to go down there now and, um, and have a look and see if we can get a nice shot. But um, yeah, absolutely beautiful up here. Really, really is. Scotland's a place that I've visited so many times. Um, but never really done much photography up here um, normally because I'm on two wheels and I can't I can't really get all my kit in like on the bike but um, but yeah absolutely stunning up here it really is and um, yeah up here for a few days um, hopefully going to do some photography um, hopefully going to be able to show you some um, weather forecast is a little bit a little bit hit and miss in the fact that uh, it, we're in Scotland and it's um, the end of March coming into April and um, it, it's cloudy, not really forecast any rain but hopefully um, get some good light, get some good photography. Um, I'm not climbing mountains, uh, not this time of year. Uh, we're going to keep it relatively lowland uh, around the locks, around the Argyle Forest, that's the reason we've come up here. Um, so yeah, so I hope you stay with me, hope you join me and um, and yeah, let's have a look at, at, at what photography we can do. Well, let me tell you, if we can't take photographs up here, then there's something wrong. Okay, see you soon. Let's go and have a look at this bridge. Okay, we've um, we found this rather nice composition here. We're um, it's near a waterfall, as you can hear. Um, absolutely beautiful around here. We're just getting some beautiful light coming through, uh, coming through the trees. Um, we're about midday, and it uh, yeah, really, really nice. We had a little bit of rain this morning, but uh, managed to get up here, and um, and yeah, there's a main waterfall further down there. I can't get anywhere near it whatsoever. It's really, really boggy. Uh, should have brought me wellies, but I didn't. Anyway, um, found a nice little, uh, nice little bridge over a, over a stream, and um, yeah, looks really nice through the camera. Okay, a um, little bit rocky, so I've got to be careful where I walk. We're um, we're set on uh, should be about 24, about 24 mil. Uh, we're on F11 um, and I've put a two second on it just to give a little bit of movement in the water. Um, looks pretty nice. Two second timer um, and I've got a polarizer on the front just to obviously cut through the glare. But uh, yeah, looks really nice. Really lovely day for it. A little bit overcast but sun keeps popping through. Um, yeah, hopefully get some nice shots today. Fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. Come down um, 
to get a different angle on this. Re really love that um, that portrait shot, but um, there's a lot of rocks here on on the left hand side, and I kind of want to I want to get them in as well, full of moss and that, and they're really really looking good against the sunlight. So hopefully hopefully be able to bring them out. Um, so I've lowered the tripod right down, and uh, and and obviously I've put the waterfall on the on the right hand third. Um, and then obviously the rocks, the rocks filling up the rest of the, the rest of the shot. Kept the bridge in, loved the bridge. Kept that in, and um, and yeah, let's see, uh, let's see how this looks. <laughs> um, if you can hear the dog in the background, that's Clarkson. He's um, he's he's tied to a tree at the back. Um, well, he's actually with my wife, and not happy that he's not involved in the photographs. So uh, so yeah. So uh, let's see how this looks anyway, um, see if you like it, okay? Okay, we've, um, we've moved up a bit, we're now at a waterfall, um, still in the Argyle Forest National Park. We've moved up uh, uh, to Glan Glanchester, I think. <laughs> Sorry, if that's wrong, I do apologise. Um, yeah, found there's a couple of waterfalls up here um, that you can gain easy access to. They're actually on the path. Uh, it's a really nice walk, only about about two, two and a half mile walk, and really well laid out as well by the, the Forestry Commission up here. Um, we've come across this one here that, uh, that yeah, obviously I presume you can hear it in the background. Yeah, really, really pretty. A little bit, little bit far away to be honest with you. Kind of not not 100% happy with the composition, but but like I'm, I'm photographing it anyway. Um, again, we're using um, a polarizer. I, I don't think we need a polarizer, but I put it on anyway to use it. Um, Brings the shutter speed down a little bit, gives a little bit of movement in the water. Um, love the green around it, the green around it is beautiful. We, we're losing a little bit of light now, it's like mid to late afternoon. So, uh, and the clouds have come over. But um, but still just a beautiful place to be. The um, I've put a soft grad, a 0.6 soft grad on, Just I'm just edging into the sky a little bit. And it's just blowing out the sky. But um, but yeah, just just absolutely beautiful place to be. Um, again, we're on F11, uh, two seconds. All right, exposure, okay, on the timer, and uh, we we're shooting at about uh, about yeah about yeah about 24 mil again. I kind of want to get it all in, to be honest with you, because it it, it it like kind of snakes down. Uh, the falls are in about three or four different tiers. But have a look, see what you think. Anyway. Um, let me know your thoughts, see if you think it's any good or, or maybe not, but um, we're going to move on. Okay, uh, there's another couple of waterfalls that I'm hoping we can get access to, um, bef preferably before it gets dark. Okay, um, see you at the next waterfall. No more waterfalls today. I've done uh, done quite well there. Quite happy. Walked a lot. It's the two different areas of the uh, the Forestry Commission. Um, both beautiful. Loads of walks around them. If you ever up this way, really, really pretty. 
not not too strenuous walks neither. Right. Um, the uh, I'll try and put I'll try and put a link below with something so that you can like have a look, see the thing. But well, certainly a beautiful part of the country. Um, we're uh, heading on back down to the car now, so we can get a well earned cup of tea and a slice of cake. All right. I think the wife's the wife's about ready for it now. So. Clark, Clarkson's leading the way. He's he's taking us all the way down to the car. He is. Like, I think he's. I think we've walked his little legs off today. So, well, we've come to the end of um, of our two days up here in Scotland in, in the Argyle Forest. We um, had a fantastic, beautiful place. Stunning. Um, we've we've positioned ourselves near um, near Loch Long, which you can see in the background here. Um, on, on one of the forest holidays uh, cabins which has been really good especially the hot tub in the evening wow I can I can definitely recommend that we um, we've been out and about a little bit today um, down near D um, Dunnoon and did a couple of walks down there unfortunately as you saw earlier one of them um, which we really wanted to go and see which was the gorge the waterfalls in the middle of it was closed due to um, landslips and 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 um, some trees down so that so that was a little bit unfortunate so we kind of left ourselves a little bit out on a limb there because we banked on that walk but um, but anyway we we managed to get a good few shots yesterday um, and and quite quite happy with 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 how everything went actually really enjoyed the time the time out in the fresh air um, one thing I do want to say uh, before I go is is I'd obviously done a little bit of research about what was in the area um, you never know this time of year up in Scotland whether you're going to hit good weather or bad weather we, it was a little bit overcast yesterday T today's been a little bit better um, but I was determined to get out and do some photography it's one of the re main reasons I came up here um, but one thing that has really helped is we got this when we when we arrived here and and it's published by the Forestry Commission in Scotland and if you ever come up and 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 especially around uh, the Argyle Forest Park area pick pick one of these up because it, it's absolutely fantastic um, it shows you where all the walks are how long it takes what you can see on them the walks are really really well laid out and it, it gets, especially for families you know there's what there's walks for everybody there's they call them they've got strenuous walks which we did a couple of them yesterday um moderate walks you know and they're all they're all one and a half two and a half miles long hour and a half two hours and and take it some taking some stunning scenery um which you're going to find in scotland anyway without having to walk up miles up hills uh, mountains even so yeah it, it, this has been a godsend to us why you know and I'll, I'll strongly recommend anybody coming up to this area okay um to the argyle forest pick up one of these from forestry commissions really really fantastic piece of information um even if you just like walking around you know up here um it's absolutely stunning um i'm gonna leave you now okay thanks so much for watching all right um and hope hopefully you'll join me You'll join me next time on, on the next adventure. Thank you. Bye.